How you all doing? Welcome back. So today I've been called out here to cut a window in, in, a, in, a, in a brick wall. So I just want to walk you through the process of how to, to put a, a new window in a brick wall, how to make the open, tweet it, and reinstall the bricks and all that. All that coming up in this video. With no further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before I jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun video like this one. Let me take you over here and show you the area that we're about to set up the scaffolding and the area that we're about to cut the window because it's going to be an extremely tight spot. Let's dive into it. Okay guys, so as you see, this is the area <laughs> where we have to set up our scaffolding. We're building the window right close to where that um, ventilation um, is there. Right around there is where the, the window is going to be. So now we just have to figure out how we how we can set up our scaffolding. It's a bit of tight space as you see here. But we're gonna try and make it work. Okay guys, so finally I get my scaffolding set up. As you see here we'll be able to get it to fit. Just getting ready to mark out through our window. Stick around. So okay guys, right now we have finished set up our scaffolding. First thing you want to do, you want to go on the inside of the house of where you want to put your window on the, to where you want to place your window. And you want to drill a pilot hole as you see here. What I did, I go inside and I measure out my window to here where I want to put my window. And then I drill my pilot hole which is right here then you're gonna take the measurement for instance my window here is uh, 48 inches so you want to measure um, so I want to go 48 and a half so I want to go 28 and a quarter but because of because of it here I'm gonna just come down to this joint here so from here on we're gonna measure 48 48 and a half which should be around here we need to take two and a half inches or, or two and a half inches for our sill. I'll go two and three quarter for your sill, so it's gonna be around here. And it's the window is 18 inches, we want to put quarter inches, so we want to go 18 and a half. So it's gonna be around here. We want to go with at least quarter inches extra than the, the, the size of the, the window itself quarter inches or half an inches either one works so that you have space for your caulking so right now I'm just as you see I have my mark here I'm just plumbing it down that will have a straight line to, um, to cut we're just gonna mark just like this so here we're gonna do the same She's nice and plump. You just gotta mark it again. So remember the first thing is to mark out your window on the inside. And then you drill your pilot hole right in the center of where your window is. That's basically how. I'm just gonna bring this one down a little bit more. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see the mark, but it's right here, go all the way down. This is the bottom of the window and this is the other side and we're coming right across here this is where we're coming so before you cut you want to go back and check again remember your windows is 18 inches you want to have at least 18 and a half here we have 18 and a half. This is all right. everything looks good to me all we got to do now is just um, we just cut it out sure that you wear a, a respirator or a mask whatever you have so you're definitely gonna want to have a skill saw for this um, you can all you can rent this if you don't own one but you will need one for this I'll cut this too okay so now we're gonna start to cut that what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna mark from here, come all the way down, and I'm gonna mark over here. That way, 
whenever the dust goes there, the dust doesn't cover the line and rub it out because as I see you barely even can see it right now. So we're gonna mark straight down, straight down, cut over there, and then afterwards we're gonna cut right too. There's a pencil as soon as the dust hit it, it just, it just rub out, so it's not good for this. So it's better to get a marker rather than the pencil here. extremely difficult to cut it we'll finally get it to where we want it right now all we got to do right now is just to remove these bricks um, as you see here I cut past over here because I want to have at least uh, five to six inches of overhang for my hanger line so I want my hanger line to sit right over here over and I passed over here with the top reason for that I want my hanger line to sit at least uh, six inches you can get away with four inches hangover, but I go a, a bit. I go a bit extra here, um, but you can go with four inches hangover, four inches over this side, four inches over here because it's a small window. You're gonna have a double angle line, one on the inside, one on the outside. So what I did here, I just passed by so that we can insert our angle line later on. Now we're gonna start to, to, to take this wall. You could also use a hammer. As you see, I'm just using my hammer now. You don't want to get it. Once you get out the first, the first row, it's gonna come down super easy. You'll see. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna take this out and then I'll, 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 I'll bring you guys back when we're doing the tweeting and all that okay guys so this is it now we finished to remove all our bricks now our next step is to cut the block as we need to go right on the inside so we have to cut the block there's two ways to do this one way you could cut this wider meaning you could cut it all the way over here extend it that way and after it you could tweed in your bricks or you can turn your machine sideways which is slant and try and cut down in here and break it through all right guys before i break inside of here let me cut this let me tweed these brick out first this way I, I, I won't have a lot of dust go on the inside once I, I finish. Okay guys, so as you see, we cut all of our bricks. We're just gonna remove these ones so that we can spin it around to put the, the finishing part to the, the window. And it's a better idea to take your bricks out first and then you cut these mark, these lines straight down. 
because this way all these bricks gonna be removed all these bricks gonna be out of the way that way we can get the cut to, to cut the inside one start by start from the top work your way down as you go you can save some of these bricks because you're gonna need them to reuse them back Side here is finished, then we're gonna cut back, put in here so that we don't have a lot of dirt, a lot of dust to go on the inside. Okay guys, so we finished the tweet out our bricks. So now what we gotta do now, we're gonna just plumb our line and cut right through. guys so this is where we at now as you see I remove all my my blocks from here so guys we have to remove these uh, in order for us to put in our angle iron <laughs> okay guys so I, I, I just blow off my wall blow try and blow out some of the dust there we have it right here now the first thing we got to do right now is to install our seals and then we're going to continue on our seals we're going to cut our seal 26 let's cut it 26 and a half okay so we'll cut our seal put our seal right here it's going to be just like that First thing we gotta do is install our seal. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, you have a room that we're working with right here on our wall. So let's see. Slope. Once she's level, you check for slope. I want to make sure that the bubble, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I want to give it at least a little bit of slope. Lots of video showing you guys. You probably see a few of them. I don't know where you should have your, your slope on your level. Installing your seal, you want to make sure that there's a jeep wear underneath the bottom of the seal. You want to make sure that you expose that. You don't want to bring it in past in too much where you won't hear it to, to it when the water go on it. Just gonna check. Make sure that you have the same on both hands. Okay, that looks good to me. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to check, I'm going to put my uh, my tape just to check for the height, 
Remember we said we were on 48 and a half. Right where this is right now is exactly where we want it to be. 48 and a half. Perfect. Now we can start to lay our bricks. Let's see right here. This is where we have the first one. Remember her there, we'll mark it out. I have it 18 and a half. Let's go right there, mark that there, 18 and a half, three and a half, right here and a half, right here is where 18 and a half is, so that's where we want our bricks to come. Now that we have our window marked out, all we got to do now is just start filling our bricks. here I was trying to get the the contractor that I'm working to to go with um, maybe like um, a white motor but um, this is what he brought me this one so I guess it still can use that, that's what they, they use before so that's why you just go ahead and and use it rather than use the white one because they did a whole bunch of repair over here before so he said that's the model that they use what i'll probably use like oh man guys why didn't you tell me i didn't put any model there i'm gonna slicker it after let's put it in like this
Wasser ist ab. On it, but I don't like it. It just guys, I'm just using the wire brush now to clean off the model from the brick. Really, I try it. Just get the model off, and then after it, we're gonna go back over with our grinder. Okay guys, so as I see here, we'll finish this side over here. Now, we're gonna work to finish this side here. As you see, I have my cut ready to go. Let's get started. Okay guys, so let's clean this out. Okay guys
guys, so we'll finish with this now. We're gonna install our window. Oh, it's not gonna fit. <laughs> huh? Wait, my finger in there, so slowly. Yeah. Wait, wait. Not you, not you. Just start pack up and clean up. Push to me this side. Okay, anyway there. Yeah, yeah, hold on. You tighten it up on one side, yeah. Double your wedge, put another one over your side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but it's tight. It's pretty tight now. Two and a half. Knock this side into me a little bit. Over here. All right, okay. Let me check now for plumb. The top want to come out to me a little bit. That's what she's telling me. The top of it want to come out or, or we can knock the bottom in. Either one. Okay. Right there is where she's plumb. That's where she's plumb. So let me check. Uh, two and three quarter. Two and three quarter. Two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right right there, check on the inside. Right there is good for me on the outside here. Perfect. Beautiful. So guys, this is the window I just put in now. See I have my wedge. On the inside all you gotta do is just screw it to your studs. It's pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna go in there. As you see, I'm out here with my work boot and everything, but as you see there, it's beautiful the way it is. I'm gonna just use our wire brush and wire that off a little bit. to spill over we're gonna clean that up later on and then put our cock in our on it okay guys well there you have it hope you get value from this video if you do get value from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more upcoming video like this one thank you as always and i'll see you in the next one peace out